In today's video, we're going to see just how much yeast amounts affect a fermentation. So here's how this test works. I have already mixed up three gallons of mead with the following recipe. 2.33 pounds of avocado blossom honey, water up to one gallon, half of a teaspoon of Fermate O, and of course, a varying amount of yeasts. Now I'm using a varying amount of yeast to see if they directly affect the quality of fermentation. In one of them, I am putting one gram. In the other, or in another, I am putting three grams. And then the last one, I am putting five grams of yeast. I will be monitoring their progress in their fermentation as this goes along to see if, it's, if one is cleaner than the other. So let's go ahead and get this started and see what happens. Okay, a little fun fact about this. Um, it's been about six months since I started this test. The first batch that you just saw, the creation of it, went a little like this. All right, here we are. It has been uh, two months since I started these meads, over a little over two months. So it's a little more sour than I, I thought. That's weird. That one is sour. So my first one was tart. My second tower, one was, yeah. was quite tart. I don't, I can't taste a huge difference between them, honestly. I think ah. I'm having a hard time getting over the, the tartness. My middle one. Super tart? Is puckering. Mm. This is one of the more unusual traditional meads I've tasted. It is. That's why I'm very confused about it. So the fermentation finished and it finished totally fine. Now I didn't taste test it coming out of the primary. I didn't want to, um, I wanted to make my taste test the first time doing it and um whatever happened it went sour like all three went sour in the same manner bc and i couldn't figure it out so that one failed i redid the test with a new recipe so i'll share that recipe with you right now this is the new recipe and i'll also show you the um footage of me basically mixing this up again i did the exact same thing i monitored the progress of the mead as it fermented uh, this time i did a gravity reading every two days so let me show you the charts of both of them so right here is the chart of my fermentation through the first one and right here is the chart of the fermentation of the second batch. So in total, I've done six gallons of mead. Um, so you can kind of see, they look super, super similar. And that's because they were. They had the exact same fermentation process. I'll also include um, the actual like numbers as I documented them. So if you want to see that, if you're curious, I also throw them down in a Google Drive link or if you were, want to see them that way. But the fermentation times and the speed at which they fermented was super similar in each regard. Of course, the one gram was the slowest to finish. Three gram was in the middle. Five gram blew through everything. It was out very quickly. And that was uh, expected. Now we get to talk about the taste side. So the science side, yeast clearly do ferment faster when there are more of them. They go through their process quicker. And generally speaking, that means that they are gonna have a cleaner, healthier fermentation because they're less stressed. BC is actually coming back to help me with the next taste test. And I have already done a preliminary taste test of these to make sure they didn't go sour. They haven't. We're gonna uh, discuss right now what the taste difference is between them, if there's any at all. All right, we're back. Um, we've already done this. You just saw a moment ago, BC was here for the original <laughs> tasting, the sour tasting, um, as mm. we can formally call it, I guess. And uh, do you have any note on, on that for anyone who missed that experience? Uh, no, I'm still, you know, I've talked to several other home brewers about that since, and I'm still at a complete loss for what happened there. Yeah. I, 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 I have no idea. No idea. It was, it was an incredible feat of failure. So, um, but we're back and we have the same test. You've seen all the results. We've got two lines, two rows. So we're going to mix them up and do a taste test. And then without looking at the bottom, which is where the answer lies, we're going to, mm -hmm. I guess, d denote any differences. Okay. And then maybe at the end, um, I I feel like optimally, theoretically, the, the best one should be the one that had the less least amount of stress, which would be theoretically the five grams. Sure. 
since you pitched at the at the yeah. recommended rate. So maybe we try and pick or, that one. I guess not recommended rate, right? Five grams is the whole packet. Yeah. But so it, overpitched. Overpitched. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll find out. We'll maybe find out. maybe the recommended rate is five grams. Who knows? <laughs> I hope not for my uh, wallet's sake. Okay. Yeah. No <laughs> kidding. Okay. So these are all. These are this like is a, a one, two, and three, and yep. these are all one, two, and Correct. three, and we're trying to match glass per glass. Yeah. Or, okay. Let's do that. All right. So we're gonna do a little tasting. We'll give you some notes as we go along and see if we can find any difference. Bottoms up. Oh, it's sour. I'm just <laughs> 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 I, I like the the Mo5. I, I mm -hmm. think even with it, I mean, I, I like EC118. So I mean, naturally, they kind of are fitting the same. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I like this one the best. I was going to say, this one right here is thinner. I don't know if you found one that felt any thinner, but this one to me, it's interesting. These two are more fuller bodied. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. And I like the one I think that's thinner because it is crisper. Yeah, like to me, so <laughs> I don't know what, this This one's thin -ist. this one's a little medium, and this one's got a heavier body. Don't know really. I'm going to switch over to this side. And then I... Maybe that's how I'll match them up. I don't really know. They all have distinct flavor. Yeah. I will say, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to match them up. Yeah. But tasting down through this line, each of them was distinct. Yeah. But it's not, it, they're not insanely different to me. I mean, it's very, very minuscule. I think and it's it, different levels of bitterness, different levels of fruitiness, and like you said, viscosity mm -hmm. seems a bit different. That's the biggest thing I'm getting here, is the fuller body, for whatever reason. It's pretty good mead. I was gonna say for not back sweetening. Yeah. I mean, it, it went dry. All of them went dry. So there's per perceived sweetness here, which is always nice. Yeah, it's a little boozy, but mm -hmm. you know, this type of thing, I'd sit with a big mug of this out by a campfire. And yeah, I think even if with like a, a tinge more of sweetness, more time to mellow it out, and um, even just like a little bit of wine tannin, I feel mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. not. Uh, I've I found that that wine tannin really kind of counterbalances a lot of uh, sweetness sometimes, but mm -hmm. also it just rounds it out. Just kind of yeah, it like sands the edges of the. Yeah, meat. that's a good way of putting it. I don't think I've heard it put like that before. But yeah, it it it, it helps it kind of flow over your tongue yeah. rather than. You know, sometimes it'll just wash down and back, or sometimes it just kind of, like, fades away. I think it'll, just a touch of tannin helps it kind of just cling. Yeah. Okay, so, this is hard. I don't know how to guess exactly. I'm kind of going by body. You're going more by taste. I'm having a hard time discerning the, the large taste difference between them, quite honestly. Well, I have my guess. Whether it's right or not is estimate. And I'm then we still, can, like... Oh, you're going? You're going for it? I just have, like... Yeah. Release. Just eject it all. Yeah. Because what I thought was a thin-bodied one is now starting to have that. I th and maybe it's because it's opening up that, that kind of punchy fruitiness uh -huh. that I didn't think it had at first. This is definitely one of those games where you, you like click the tile and you try and match up. It's like mm -hmm. that little kid game. We're just, we're doing that essentially. <laughs> okay, so yours are arranged by just compatibility essentially yeah i think that these are paired up i would say that i would say that now i feel like i have them ranked by density okay so thickest what's your... in the back and thinnest in the front oh you're going that way too okay so that's how mine are so this okay. is this is thinnest one up top yeah fixed here. that's what i think yeah <laughs> we'll see well let's see so then we're both on the same page let's what you think is the thickest back here <laughs> whoa well i matched mine well for i one. did not um, one gram was my thickest. Interesting. I have both three and five. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Middle. I matched up the I ones. I matched up. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I matched them, but I was going totally by body and not mm -hmm. by anything else. Well done. <laughs> uh, so mine are mixed front and back. I have, I have a three and a five in the front and back, and then my ones are matched up. So, so, but this, let's, let's figure it out then. Let's go, um, let's go by one. Find a one. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. I did not expect it to be the fuller body, air quote, to me. And I don't feel like it's the fullest. Yeah. I, and I think it's because I've got, in the ones back here, I felt like I was sensing a lot of tannin. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of, it's, it was really 
hanging around. Yeah. And I don't feel that with this one in that same way. But I could have sworn that I, I do feel like this one is a little more hot, has a little more heat to it, just maybe in the tiniest, tiniest way. And that's, of course, because it finished last. Mm -hmm. You know, it finished, I mean, only seven days later. So not a huge amount, but maybe that little amount could affect how quickly your mead flips around. <clears throat> still has heat. But there's, um, even knowing what they are, I still feel like these taste different. Yeah. I feel like this one is much more tannic than this one. Which one? Even was this your three? Yeah, these are both threes. I like tasting them side by side. I feel like they taste different, and it's maybe that's that could a be mental, entirely yeah. mental. I was gonna say maybe. I mean, not not to doubt that, but I don't know that glasses would affect that. That's my only other hypothesis: is that glass somehow affects. Maybe the it opened up a little bit, but this one feels much more tannic and much more structured, and this one feels more delicate. Interesting and fruity. Wait, which one's the delicate fruity one? This glass. Okay, okay. And this one feels thicker and more structured. I could I could slightly... Honestly, I could believe that a little bit, and I do believe that a lot of it boils down to the pour and how you pour it, it and, and the glass you use. Because um, I like this one more than I like this which one, is, but they're the I mean, number the same, they're the same mead. It's the same mead, so, like, that's odd. Okay, let's go to the I five. mean, it, it may be a testament, like you said, to the... Glass you're tasting from. So this is the five. Okay. Get me five, yeah. Okay, maybe my my senses were wrong. Okay, what I do notice about this, of course, we've been tasting for a while. This one's more round, more mm -hmm. mellow to me. And, and these do decided. taste the same. Mm -hmm. These taste identical. I, I, these are much brighter to me. Mm -hmm. One and three. This is a little more. I don't know, not dark, but it is. It is complex. So like that tannin hit right in the back of my mouth. And so I swallowed and a little bit like it dried out the back of my throat uh -huh. and made it a little bit difficult to swallow. And you didn't do anything to adjust tannin on this. This no. is coming from I mean, whatever is in our honey. Mm -hmm. My big feeling about this, mm -hmm. I do believe that there is going to naturally be a slight difference between how well things ferment, but also how things taste with more or less yeast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, is it such a discernible difference? I think we we know, you know what the test is. And so part of us, we're, <laughs> you get to the nitpicky point, and that, yeah. which is not a bad point to be in, yeah. but we are in that nitpicky era of like trying to find things. And so uh, that's not to say any of this test is to be thrown out, but that is to say that um, sometimes when we're seeking things, I think it might be easier to flip. There is a difference. <laughs> yeah. The body is no joke. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like there's definitely a difference in, in product. Yeah, but, and there is a brightness. I noticed a bigger body. Now, now that I'm really having a moment, um, having a moment. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm noticing the five gram, there is a, a thicker tannic feel. Now, I don't know why that would be with more yeast. That doesn't, Theoretically, yeast are not like hanging around to like. Yeah, I know. Like, if it was breadier, yeah, or something like, then I could be like, oh, obviously you overpitch your yeast. Yeah. but it's not that. It is a, it's a mouthfeel thing, but it's not. It's not a velvety or, or ropey kind mm -hmm. of mouthfeel. It is, jaggedy. Yeah, it claws at your tongue a little bit. I don't. I don't have. A, um, Do esters have texture? Hmm. Because if it's That's, if it was, I, I can't do the science in my head on a, on, a, on a whim. But if it's over pitched and the yeast is creating additional esters that maybe an under pitch didn't, uh -huh. could that contribute to hmm. a textural difference? Possibly. I don't know. I don't know what they're even made of. I don't know either. I mean, that's that is deep. That is some deep science right there. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what would cause that. No idea. Same honey, same nutrient, same yeast. If you just have, different if you're quantities. a science mind, hop on down in the comments. Comments, uh, yeah, help us out because we're we're all trying to find the truth here. Interesting. Um, I do believe that there is a difference, and I, uh, I mean, just by the science alone of how they fermented, of course you want to give your yeast a pl a plentiful army mm -hmm. to battle with. That just makes sense, and not to say that one gram is not to be used in a brew, um, but. I would say the standard should be two, if not maybe three, uh, just hitting that middle ground. If you are at the luxury of being able to pitch five, it is 
uh, over pitching per gallon. Or in my case, if you're lazy enough that you just yeah. pitch five. Oh, I mean, either way, <laughs> either way, if you are pitching five and you can, it doesn't hurt. Um, I don't think you, you you can over pitch yeast, but you got to go really hard to over pitch yeast. And you know, honestly, I know you don't want to do any more with this experiment, but <laughs> I would be really curious to see what these were like six months from now mm -hmm. after they've had time to naturally clear and age and mellow. Well, there can always be a part two. I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Maybe it's also a factor of the time out from yeast pitch. Yeah. It's. I, you know, it's these still will a little around. bit of a mystery. My plan is definitely to keep these around mm -hmm. and um, let them age. I mean, they're good mead. It's not like... No, it's good sometimes stuff. The last test, those went down the drain. <laughs> um, this will hang around and live in its own world. And I do think that there could be an interesting taste test down the line. I, I'd be curious to see if, if, if we can detect a difference at that point. Mm. Or if the difference is even more pronounced. Well, I think that's more reason to keep them around. So... BC, continued. thank you for coming and helping. Um, of course. I, you know, I believe, and I always say this with every test, the best thing you can do is also attempt things on your own, in your own world. So if you would like to try this, um, I encourage you to. We encourage you to because your tasting experience will be um, just as valuable, if not more valuable, than our tasting experience too. So we'll be back. We uh, we do a couple videos together every once Here in a while. So uh, we'll be back with more. But... Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.